I don't even go shopping for food anymore. I just order it on my laptop online on my ever-increasing tummy, just lying in bed, <laughs> going, bring me this food, bring me that food. Then you click a time slot and they just show up at your house. You open the door, they're like, would you like me to bring it in? I'm like, ideally, can you feed me? I mean, how, <laughs> what services do you offer? Although at least when you don't go to the supermarket, it means you don't eat on the way round it, because I'm always too greedy, we've all done this. You don't own it yet, you don't own the food, but you consume it. And then you have that horrible moment of confession at the till, when you have to just present wrappers. I'm terribly sorry. I had this Mars bar, I have the packaging. Can you get the information from the packaging? Because the Mars bar itself is in my tummy. I, I'll pay you back. I appear to have eaten this lasagna. Will I be very sick? It just looks so yummy on the photo. Do I get bags, sir? I just need a bin. I've actually said... There are many different supermarket options. I don't know where you shop. My wife likes to shop at Waitrose. It's the middle class uh, option. People are whooping Waitrose, and what they're doing, ladies and gentlemen, is they're just telling you all that they can afford Waitrose, and they love to do it. People who shop at Waitrose, they like to drop it into conversations. You know. Sorry I'm late, I was just at Waitrose! Just so everybody knows that they can afford Waitrose. Even though they sell basically all the same stuff as other supermarkets, but they just put the prices up so people can feel good about themselves. Waitress! Yeah. <laughs> but they like to uh, justify it, you know, the poshies. Yeah. You know, waitress, it's fabulous. The food is just wonderful, you know. It's organic. It's beyond organic, you know. The chickens, they, they just sacrifice themselves. They just walk up. <laughs> they walk up to the main entrance. Hi, this is my family. And we just, <coughs> just check <bury. laughs> I bought some condiments. Do what you like. Just take me. Take me. <laughs> And I'd never seen anybody return the trolley for the pound in the car park in Waitrose. It's simply not worth it to them. You see them coming out with their trolleys, looking for their Range Rovers. Which one is mine? <laughs> I think it's this one over here. Oh, they pop the boot open as well. You see, once you've got a certain amount of money, this, this and this, those days are behind you. <laughs> now they have these keys, and you push the key that closes it, that locks it, and then one that opens it, and then a boot one. And people like to pop it open, they don't wait till they get to the car. The more posh you are, the further away from the vehicle you pop the boot open. It can become quite treacherous for other people walking in the car park, because these boots start flying up all over the place. People have to walk in a single file. OK, kids, just follow me so we don't get hit by the boots. People doing it at the till, people flying into airports going, oh look, there's the car, better pop the boot open, I'll go and uh, easier to get the bags in. <laughs> so they get to the Range Rover, they unload their shopping in the back, and then they see the pound and they think, oh, I should have that, that's money, I should have that, but they can't, I can't, it's stuck. And they realise I've got to go all the way over there and plug it in to the trolley train for a pound. All the way over there and back for a pound. <laughs> well, by the time I got there and back, the house would have made about 15 grand, so I don't really see the point. So then they sort of do this push away. They do the Waitrose posh push. They just pause and go, off you go. <laughs> Goodbye. And then the trolley sort of rolls away and then collides with another Range Rover. There's another posh person going, what's that doing there? Off you go. <laughs> There's normally someone from Aldi in the bushes. I'll have that, thank you. Shopping done on that quid, idiots! <laughs>